Welcome to the National Center for Vocational Education Research's free web-based AVETMIS validation software. For the duration of this video, the AVETMIS validation software will be referred to as AVS. To access the AVS, go to www.avs.ncver.edu.au. To get started, please sign in here. Here you can see the Messages, Collections and News sections. The Messages and Collections sections will be blank until your first validation in AVS. Messages Messages are generated after each validation and submission attempt and will also be sent to you via email. Collections this section displays an overview of your most recent validations and their status, for example, validated, and will include all validations completed by users associated with your organization. News. We post all system, classification and validation rule updates in this section and recommend you check them regularly to ensure you have the most up-to-date information. To start validating data, Press this button and select New Collection. This is where you select your collection details, upload files and validate your data. If you're submitting data directly to NCVER, select your organisation name from the Organisation drop-down menu. If you are only reporting data to your state or territory training authority, select your email address. From now on, we'll refer to state or territory training authorities as STAs. Type refers to the collection type. If you're reporting VET data, select VET Provider Collection. Select the year of training. Now select your collection period. Selecting the correct collection period is very important. For detailed information on the different collection periods, please see the AVS User Guide. Select Interim if you report your data to your STA during the year, or if you want to test your files. If you're unsure whether you need to report to your STA, please contact them directly. You can find STA contact information by clicking here. Select January to December when submitting data directly to NCVER or when validating data to send to your STA for the annual collection. The January to June collection period is only used by STAs. RTOs should not select this option. Now we will demonstrate how to run an interim collection. The following steps will guide you through the process of reporting to your STA. Click the Add Files button and then select the files from where they're saved on your system. If your student management system or data entry tool exported your files individually, you'll need to select each file. Alternatively, you can select and add a zip file. Once files are selected, click Open. Upload your files. Now validate. Once your data is validated, any errors and or warnings will be shown in the status column. Reports on the errors and warnings can be accessed via the Export Summary and Export Details buttons. Select Export Summary for an overview of your errors and or warnings. Select Export Details for a comprehensive spreadsheet that identifies and details the fields triggering your errors and or warnings. Once you've identified which files and fields contain errors, you'll need to fix the data at the source. 
then you'll need to re-upload and re-validate your data. Once all your data has been run through with a successful status of validated, that is, error-free, you can finalise your submission. If you report your data to your STA and have selected the interim collection period, you'll see this. Warning. For reporting purposes only, interim collections cannot be submitted. This is to be expected because you'll be exporting, not submitting, your data. Upon clicking the export button, this pop-up window appears asking you if the system should encrypt client names or not. Please contact your STA directly to confirm whether you are to encrypt client names. The data will be exported into NAT files in a zip folder ready to be emailed to your STA. Alternatively, if you submit directly to NCVER, remember to select the January to December collection period and once your data is validated, tick the disclaimer and select the Submit button. Selecting the Submit button would only be an option once the submission window for the collection period opens. If the Submit button is greyed out, this is because the collection period that you've selected at the beginning is not open yet. To confirm when a collection period opens, please contact a VETMIS support team. When submitting data directly to NCVER, client names are encrypted and address details are coded. You can also export your data and save it to your computer as per the previous example. For additional help, you can contact NCVER's AVETMIS support team. You can also access a range of AVS-specific support materials before you sign in by clicking here. This is where you can download the AVS User Guide. Now you're ready to validate your AVETMIS data. Thank you for watching.